on it. Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third. We've got a fish working a tip down heavy right here and a dog that wants to get right in the middle of the action. Look at the rod going down, it's way to the side. I'm gonna grab it here and feel for him. Oh, big fish, big fish, pike. Pike or something, he's gonna take the, he's gonna take the rod right down, the, right down, I'm gonna pull the pin. Loosen the drag just a little bit. Too much? Big fish, Dave, big fish. We're going to be in trouble on this. Here's the key to this kind of thing, folks. You absolutely do not want to horse these fish. He's taking line right now. You've got to take your time. Set this rod to the side. You've got to take your time with it and just work this fish gently. Because remember, we're using on these tip downs for perch generally 10 to 15 pound tests. This happens to be 15 pound test Cajun Red. We like the Cajun Red line for uh, ice fishing, but you got a light fluorocarbon tippet, good pike. Look at that guy go beneath the hole. Good pike, you got a fluorocarbon tippet, you don't wanna push it, just a little long shank number four Aberdeen hook. Great for impaling a perch, getting them to take a full oversized bait. But on pike, kind of small gear. So you want to be careful because you got no leader to deal with. He's giant. And he's pulling this rod right down the hole. Can you see him in the hole, Dave, when he's coming up? Get right over the top of this. I'm going to try to get him back in. Got to be careful. We're only on 8 inches of ice here. And we don't want to break the line on the edge of the hole. So he's he's jammed up. He's jammed up right here. He's he's taking me into the weeds. So you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm working ever so slightly. I'm getting about an inch or two, an inch or two at a time on this fish. And I'm gonna have to break him free of the weeds. He swam into a pack of weeds, and we're gonna have an awful time trying to get this guy free. Oh, I'm pulling him out of the weeds. I'm pulling him out of the weeds right now. I'm just being so slow because he's buried himself and I don't want to pop the line. I don't want to pop the line. You know, you couldn't break this in your, you couldn't break this in your hands. There he's free can break this in your hands if you wanted to. Now I got him coming. I got him out of the weeds. We really got to try to keep him out of the weeds this time. If it's possible, here's his head. Got him. Look at this. There's the mess of weeds. I could feel that's in there. Now, you cannot, cannot, cannot lose your composure when that's going on. I had a good buddy of mine jigging in the shack the other day, Shane Steffen, and he's a bass fisherman. Bang, he had, uh, we were fishing perch, and he had a, a big pike or pickerel or walleye, something out of the ordinary came in and hit that, and bang, he hit that rod hard, and the line got on the edge of the ice, and he ended up losing that fish, and he was distraught over the deal, and it's just because not used to having those fish in that kind of scenario in the ice hole. So you just got to be really, really careful and you got to take your time. But there's a nice northern pike came on that. If he gets into the weeds, do just exactly what I did. Roll that line in to your finger, pull it two, three, four inches at a time. And all you're doing is you're sawing this stuff and trying to break him free and get him out. As soon as he, you feel that he, you've got his head and he's coming the right direction, then make a move on your fish. Try to get him in and get him up and uh, do what we did just there. Grab him right behind the gills. Grab him right behind the gills in the hole and bring him up. A nice pike. We're set for perch, but this is the kind of bonus you can expect. I'm Captain Bill Safe the <clears> Third. <throat> That's your tip. I'm playing something out of the ordinary on a perch rake.